Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Friends of the Duke of Sussex said he had been left devastated by perceived snubs while he was here at the time of the Queen's funeral. We may not have to wait long before we hear his own version of events. For best-selling author Geoffrey Archer, who was a pal of Princess Diana, says Prince Harry is writing a new chapter for his much-anticipated memoirs that will be all about his grandmother's death and the events leading up to her funeral. Lord Archer says he is deeply concerned that the book will make already strained relations between the royal family and Harry and his wife, Meghan, even worse. He says, I'm very sad. I literally fear for the book. I know they're writing the chapter on the funeral, so I suppose that's what the book will end on. The royal autobiography was due to be published this autumn. But the Mail on Sunday revealed last month that Harry had launched an 11th hour bid to alter it amid fears that it would be seen as insensitive after the Queen's death. He was said to be desperate to make significant changes after witnessing the public outpouring of support for the royal family. However, Archer says the Duke's publisher, Penguin Random House, will be determined to get its money's worth, with the book generating plenty of controversy. They paid him a lot of money, something like 20 million pounds. You want to calm it down if you're paid 20 million pounds. A Penguin Random House spokesman declines to comment, while Harry refuses to communicate with the popular press. Of Harry and Meghan's new life in Montecito, Lord Archer also says, I always say, rather cruelly, I could survive in California for about a week. It's not a state that I'd want to stay in. It's one temperature, and they're all wanting to be celebrities. And Meghan is now a big celebrity. How it will end? I have no idea. She's a very, very clever woman. Buckingham Palace does not expect to see a draft of Harry's book before publication, but Archer has sent the Windsor's copies of his own new novel, next in line, about a fictional kidnapping of Princess Diana. I sent it to three members of the royal family, and all three of them loved it, he says in an interview with an Australian newspaper. While not divulging their identities, he does say, The Duchess of York has written a profuse critique for the American papers. And of the Queen Consort, Camilla, he says, she's already read it. The timing of his own book's publication, coming straight after the Queen's funeral, doesn't worry him. You can't miss my affection for Diana or my respect for the royal family, he says. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.